Here's Isaac. Awani. Gives Nigeria a chance. Actually, this is a, this is a strong challenge. Again, there's a chase on. And the speed mergence from Nigeria nearly get a fourth, but a lovely save by Haidar Mohamed. The burst through was by Taiwo Awaniyi, who would love to get a goal himself, having seen three of his teammates get on the score sheet. Good goalkeeping. Hit it well enough. Outpaced Samir comprehensively. It's a corner to Nigeria. And here they are again coming forward, looking to finish it all off with a goal. Here, Nacho. Oh, what a wonderful strike! Way to end the game. Right on 90 minutes. How about that for a strike? I don't think any goalkeeper in the world would have saved that. Absolutely wonderful drive. Had a few minutes against Iraq. Awani! Well, this time Ianacho has set up the goal rather than scored it. But Awani is there with the header. And it's 3-3 in this magnificent Group F game. Well, Ianacho again uses his left foot to whip in the cross. Goalkeeper did get something on it, but you can't blame him for letting this in. Plenty of power in the header. And Taiwo Awani of the Imperial Academy in Ogun has his first goal at this FIFA Under-17 World Cup of 2013. Lovely ball. Wonderful finish. At their very best, Taiwo Awani. First time. And finds the intended target. Perfectly weighted ball, threaded through, and that is cause for celebration. He's come into this squad and he's made his mark in the first team. What a well taken finish, delightful ball played through, first time, and perfectly struck beyond Cardozo. Nigeria are ahead. Musa Mohamed. Cross. Again, got there first to meet the cross. Just lacking the necessary direction. Mohamed's got forward down that right hand side, almost just needed the connection. Really attacks. Good ball played in. Just ran into trouble there. They find a way through, it's a lovely ball, and it's another goal for Tawai Awani, and that could be the end of Uruguay's World Cup aspirations. Nigeria double their leads, and another goal that was wonderfully worked.
Messi. The knockout blow. A one is finish. Here, Nacho, the provider. And Taiwo Awali helps himself to his second goal of this World Cup quarter-final. Nigeria edging closer. Nigeria look to build again, and their captain will get forward, as he always does. Musa Mohamed down that right-hand side, driven in, and then the angled shot, which is collected by Moulin. There's the captain with a run, and the ball driven in, and then on the turn, Scored a couple last time out, Taiwo Wani. It's the first real chance. Superbly taken. And he keeps up this tremendous scoring record. Taiwo Wani scored two in the quarter-final. And adds one more in the semi, through on goal and took it really well. Sweden defensively caught out. The through ball and the first time finish. Best chance of the game and taken. Sweden nil. Nigeria won, and it's a familiar goal scorer in Taiwo Awani to set a Kony forward. Flag is up, good save. Flag up a long time before Nigeria start to celebrate. The far side of this stadium is full of Nigerian supporters felt they'd scored a second. Flag went up. Okone makes space. That could be that. Attack and Mexico have got themselves caught. There's no offside. Yahaya celebrates. No offside. And Yahaya, the quiet guy with the big smile, makes it 1 0. It's a good decision from the officials. And Awani, who's really done well since coming in for the injured Isaac, played a big part. Hint of the tackle from behind about it. It's a lovely ball, but into the side netting it goes. Well, Ian Acho, the awareness, the weight of the pass, but Taiwo Awani just forced a little bit too wide. It stays 1-0. But look at the weight, and look at the good run too from Awani. Just the finish, short and gets it back from Ocon. Oh, what a fantastic effort! Brilliant snap overhead kick from Awani. Straight at the goalkeeper. And that was the lucky bit for Raul Goudinho. Well, there's Manu Gaba collecting his medal. What an achievement. He scoured the academies around Nigeria to find this group of players. There's the trophy. Manufactured in Birmingham in the United Kingdom by Thomas Fattolini Limited. Designed by Jane Powell and Thomas Fattolini himself. 
Sepp Blatter has it in his hand. It weighs 4.6 kilograms. It's 49 and a half centimeters tall. And it is the trophy.